then the, um, the final temperature of a mixture, the question says that the ma in the 0 0.5 gram kilogram of copper calor calorimeter with a thermal capacity of 195 joule per Kelvin contain 0 0.3 grams of water at 27 degrees Celsius. A metal of a mass 0 0.2 grams at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius was gently dropped into the calorimeter and the mixture was well stirred. Calculate the final temperature of the mixture. Neglect the heat loss to the surrounding. The specific heat capacity of, of water is 4200 Joule per kilogram per Kelvin. And specific heat capacity of the metal is 460 Joule per kilogram per Kelvin. All right, what we're going to do here, we're, we're going to consider it based on heat loss and heat drain. And when we look at this very well, we find out that um, the other one, the other one has, the metal itself has a, the higher temperature. And at the process, at the end of the reaction, let's just quickly rush, rush and do this thing fast. We have a, for the metal that's losing heat, we have two, the mass is what? Two kg times specific heat capacity, which is four, four cc. And then the temperature, the heat, the temperature is 100 and then it's losing a heat, which is, we can call it theta. You can say that that one is theta, the constant of heat, temperature, um, the temperature that is losing out, you know, as the heat is coming in, going to your ass. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know, as the, as you mix the metal, into the mixture, the, there will be a, a loss in heat. So that's just exactly what happened there. So that heat is missing. It's, we don't know which is supposed to be the final temperature. We don't know. So we have to like use our theta to represent it. So the other side of it, the one that are gaining, is equal to the heat, heat lost by the metal, is equal to heat gained by the parameter and the water in it all together. So, so what we do here for the for the calorimeter we have, and then the water we also have a zero point three kg. Then the change in temperature. That is the change in temperature, the final temperature we are looking for. That is the kind of change in temperature there we have um, minus 27 degree. So you can see that, oh sorry, I missed something there, there's something missing here. We do not add the, we do not add the uh, specific heat capacity. So let me just go through it again. We have uh, these times the specific heat capacity of that thermal heat capacity. We have um, plus the other one then now everything is okay. So, what we multiply through that end, this other end, what we multiply through, we have, I think I have an answer to it, 0 0.2 times 460, we have brackets. That's the temperature difference equal to. 
0 0.5 times 195 that will give us plus 0 0.3 times 4200 we'll have then everything will be all right now we we'll have approximately everything we need now we can Go ahead and create more space. Okay. So when this multiply, opening the brackets, you have equal to some of some of that we have nine point nine seven point five. Plus, plus two, one, two, six, zero to give us thirteen point five, all in brackets, theta minus twenty seven. So, um if we multiply it through, we we'll have I'm <coughs> oh, sorry. So this is what we have here and then the next thing we are going to do now is to collect like things if we collect like things we will find out that um i think this one is theta before we assume it to be zero so this okay this over there will have Theta minus and this other one moving over to this place we will have equal to minus all right I want everything is in that Uh, yes, everything is okay. What am I seeing there? This over there, and this one plus will change to minus to this place. Alright, I think it's okay. And then what we add up, we're going to be, you know, everything. We have minus, minus there, minus 9, then. 92 theta plus the other brother the other brother there we have oh the other brother is 5 1 3 5 7 point 5 that will give us um minus Minus one four four theta equal to this other one we have point two plus this will give us minus.
So now what we do next is to divide, to find the value of theta as the final temperature. To, cap to get the final temperature now, theta will then be equal to all over so zero will, minus minus will go out then the next thing we are going to do is to divide by one four four nine point five that will give us equal to thirty one point six degrees Celsius. So 31.6 degrees Celsius, that's the kind of temperature of the mixture. I thank you so much for your time and I would like to you know, see you commenting and then if you have not subscribed, it would be nice for you to do this and then you subscribe so that you will enjoy the uh, phone of you know, learning with us here. Thank you so much. Thank you.